Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Monday the 22nd of January. A local board member says drivers frequently ignore safety signs at Miruwai Beach in Auckland's northwest. A teen died yesterday when a ute rolled on the beach. Two others have serious injuries. Vehicles are now banned until Thursday with people allowed on foot. Rodney board member Guy Wishart says driving has been a problem and protected sand dunes are being damaged by car tyres. There are safety issues, and but most of the issues that we've seen have been to do with poor driving, either in the sand dunes or on the beach where vehicles have rolled. Canterbury's fire risk is still high. Crews had to pull out the stops to quell major scrub fires in Swananoa, Amberley and Lowburn on Friday and Saturday that burnt down homes in a church. Meteorologist Claire O'Connor says the dry is more widespread than in other years. Although Canterbury is yeah, quite known for being dry, this period at the moment is a bit drier than what we may have seen last year. Despite measures easing today to conserve water in seven towns across the Tasman district because of rainfall, locals are urged to still be frugal. Dovetail, uh, Dovedale, I'm sorry, Dovedale's restrictions continue. The new government is more than halfway through its 100-day plan as politicians return to Parliament. National held its annual caucus retreat in Christchurch last week. Herald Deputy Political Editor Thomas Coughlin told the Front Page podcast it has many new MPs, so a large part was giving them guidance on their new roles. So just trying to instill that message of discipline and let them know, you know, you really got to put your head down, get working, be cognizant of political risks. The spotlight is back on our supermarket duopoly after New Worlds announced it's closing the Flaxmere branch. The lease on the tired Hastings building comes up for renewal in March. In 2022, the Commerce Commission ruled our, ruled our grocery sector doesn't work well for shoppers, dominated by foodstuffs in Woolworths, New Zealand. Consumer NZ's Gemma Rasmussen says new players struggle to get a foot in the door, which is a problem. Two major players really have the whole system wrapped up and then you end up with situations like this where um, shoppers are worse off if one decides to depart. Upsetting royal news with a skin cancer diagnosis for the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. The Sun reporter Matt Wilkinson says it's distressing, coming just after the Duchess had been treated for breast cancer. It was in fact during the reconstructive surgery following her mastectomy last year where dermatologists at the Royal Marsden Hospital found several moles which caused concern. Test results found the Duchess had a malignant melanoma. In sport, Black Sticks veteran Hugo Inglis has abandoned plans to retire from international hockey after New Zealand earned the final qualifying spot for the Paris Olympics. Batting maestro Kane Williamson will return to training this week after a hamstring strain and is on track to play in the first cricket test against South Africa on February 4. And UFC boss Dana White says the world will know next week if Kiwi MMA fighter Israel Adesanya will be back in the octagon for UFC 300 in April. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.